Hey guys, what's up? How y'all doing? I'm here to give you guys a recap on the new chapter of My Hero Academia, which is on chapter 312. Looks like to me, this chapter reveals a lot of what's to come of this antagonist going up against um, Izuku or Deku, whichever one it seems fitting for you. And I hope we get a little small backstory about her, because whatever the case may be, whatever her excuse is, she's already a killer, etc., you know? And I hope Deku, I don't give a sh about her anyway, if, even if it's for fan service here and there, that he takes her out greatly and breaks her into pieces. Although, due to his character and all, and him having a connection with One For All most of the time, he's not going to do that. So if anything else, let's just get this started, okay? We have to it that um, we see a chap the chapter open up where Hawks tells like um, I think you'll be all right, but I have one concern. Which Izuku's like, what are you talking about? And Hawks tells Izuku like, um, all for one and Shigaraki have yet to reach the stage where they can steal one for all by force. N not only that, but without Doc Garaki, they shouldn't they shouldn't have a way to preserve a dead body. We found all the institutions that were related to Garaki after the last fight. But, I want to tell you this, capturing you alive is the villain's best bet right now, which for most of the Tartarus escapees would be impossible. But, if that woman is involved, it's a different story. Even though she's my senpai, it goes without saying, the manhunt for her is our top priority. However, if you find yourself engaged in a fight with her, do whatever you can and get the hell out of way, get the hell away from her, you know? And we have to it that, like, um... The bullet made of dark blue and pink fibers, it's her. And we have to it that, like, um, she's actually used to be part of the hero committee, you know? A hero hero society. Like, she is known to be the public safety hero, Lady Nagant, or something, you know? And we have to it, she shoots another bullet at Deku, and Deku's like, Oh my gosh, my freaking secret transmission device is destroyed. All Might and Hawk's group should know something is wrong, but I couldn't tell them that the enemy was Lady Nagant. There's a... Chance she'll target where I'm heading, you know, etc. And we have to it. Deck was like, what should I do? For now, I'll I'll do what I was told and retreat. But unfortunately, she says, you're out of options. And she shoots another bullet. She shoots at least two bullets at him. One where, like, um, Deku managed to catch on a... Managed to catch. And then there's another one that ends up shooting at Deku. And he barely was barely able to block it or something, you know. And we had to it that, like, um, Izuku remembers, like, um, Snipe, you know, the, the 25th, um, ranked hero. He ends up talking about if she wasn't in the picture, I'd be Japan's best long distance sniper. My homing allows me to lock on to anybody I can see within a 600 meter range. I don't get to choose where it hits, though, and it's not very powerful, but still, it's amazing. When it comes to her, she can do that with pure skill alone, and her range is three kilometers. It really ruins my biz business. And we have to it that Snipe explains how Lady Nagant's power works, you know? The secret lies with, lies in her bullets. She can form her bullets into any shape she wants. She mixes and molds her two-colored hair like epoxy putty before hardening it into a bullet, you know? She can make anything from hollow point bullets to bullets that can that curve. The human sniper rifle, everyone with the long range quirk is jealous of her jealous of her right of her right hand rifle. And her quirk is rifle, you know? And we see to it we see to it that Deku remembers like that the precision that Snap Sensei would envy even and she can even do a rapid fire too. Even Deku admits that if it wasn't for the fourth if it wasn't for the fourth um user of, of one for all, I would have been I would have been defeated a long time ago, you know? But with that shot with the first one, I figured out where she is. About one kilometer ahead. Ahead, Her range is three kilometers rather than enduring this barrage while escaping her range, you know? And Deku plans, I'll get closer. We have to it that, like, um, even Nagant is, like, saying, this is the first time someone has deflected two of my bullets. And Chisaki or Overhaul is like, old man, I want to go back to the old man right now. And Nagant's like, okay, as soon as we're done here, we'll go over there. Go hide, the target is coming. Even Nagant is saying, maybe I should have left you behind when I had the chance, you know? And we see to it that we get to see another flashback where All For One was actually, like, um, talking to Lady Nagant and says... It's an honor to actually meet you. And the gun's like, you know, I remember chasing you after you back in the day. It's really annoying, you know. 
And all for one's like, yeah, I consider you to be leagues above everyone else. Please, I have a favor to ask you. Even all for one knew Deku was going to leave UA by saying soon enough there will li most likely be a boy who leaves UA and starts acting independently. I want you to capture and bring him back to me. Want you to capture and bring him back to me. He will be closely followed by several big name players, so it would be best if you could find a way to separate them before engaging. For example, if you wanted some rain. And the gun's like, uh, no, I'm not doing none of that, okay? The only thing I needed to escape from Tartarus was for these guys to go on a rampage, so why should I do anything for you? And All for One says, Because you slaughtered many of your fellow heroes, did you not? The fall of the pro hero society that you wished for would never arrive as long as that boy as long as this boy lives. And she says, giving me false hope, are you? Even Chisaki or Overhaul is like, old man, where are you? kind of thing. And Overhaul asks Lady Nagant, like, um, hey, the young boss of eight precepts of death, is he a friend of yours? She says, No, he's a broken man, but I thought he could be useful later on. And we have two all for one says he is another victim of evil pro hero society. To put an end to these damned heroes, let, let's make a deal. Consider this a security deposit. And she actually has air walk from all for one, which he decides to give her. And then she even says, I will carry out my, the mission, you know, etc. I'm like, what the hell? Are you damn serious right now? So, yeah, I'm kind of annoyed like hell right now because like, um, we get to know that this woman used to be part of the Hero Society or Hero 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 Public Public Heroes Committee, you know? Like she uses her court to protect people, help people out, but unfortunately she switched sides. I wonder why though. Many people say they want to make they want to know what she what she why she's doing this or something before they make judgment. Well, whatever excuses she has, she she's a killer now, dude. She's killing innocent people, etc., and maybe some heroes, but evil heroes in her wake. And now she's made, she's make, she made a deal with like, um, with all for one. Like, you bring this boy back to me, I'll give you a deal. But this boy will like um, cause a lot of trouble for us. So if you, unless you help me, I won't. I can't guarantee. No, I can't guarantee this hero society is gonna keep going. So. There might be a chance that she must have been disillusioned by the Hero Society and why she went rogue and wanted to kill heroes in the first place. Maybe like Stain, you know? You know how Stain is. That guy is still running. We all know that guy's running rampant. And possibly Lady Nagant might have the same thing like what Stain went through, you know? Who knows? I mean, like, um, we have yet to know what her backstory is and why she decided to make a deal with All for One when she doesn't want to and want and now she wants to help Chisaki or Overhaul and might find useful and useful might some, find some usefulness in him whatever the case may be but but it looks like to me yeah she used like I said she used to be part of the hero society but what made her like go rogue and become like almost like Stain you know and she even killed multiple heroes for it etc you know and we get to know about her ability you know I mean her her snipe, her quirk is rifle, etc. And it looks like to me she can like mold mold two her two colored hair into a, a epoxy putty before hardening into a bullet. And she could with her kind of skills here and there, she's pretty she's pretty like um powerful, you know, as for as a long range distance fighter whatsoever. So yeah. So pretty much her quirk is rifle, and she can mold into her hair into bullets. You know, two colored hair, I guess, like um. Etc. But her meters is about three, three. Her her range is three kilometers whatsoever. You know, etc. So, but you know, Deku knows where where she's at. You know, and then etc. Anyways, yeah. Overall, without a lot of detail and repeating myself again, I apologize. Um, Lady Nagant used to be part of the Hero Society before she went rogue inside, and she killed a lot of pro heroes. Not to mention like um. We don't really know why she went rogue just like Stain, you know? Like how Stain would kill and injure pro heroes beyond... Or injure pro heroes beyond recovery. She ends up... She's the one that ends up killing them. Just like how Stain would do. But only question is, why did she go rogue? Maybe there might be something in her backstory that caused her to go rogue anyway. And Hawk says that's her... That's his senpai, you know? And we're on a manhunt for her. So it looks like to me, like Hawks really warned Deku, you should stay away. You should try to retreat to the best of your ability. But 
We'll have to see because Deku's not going to run away. And depending on the situation, I highly doubt Deku could like make a change of mind, but whatever. So until then, people, I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm Alfazero. Have a good day, and I'll see you guys next time. All right? Peace out. Bye-bye. Toot-toot-toot!